How's it going everyone? Today is an exciting day as you can tell from the title. This is pretty much the Saab Hope of Arizona's 2020 version of a meet. Uh, because of COVID there wasn't really much incentive to do any sort of meet this year like we did last year. I'll link that video up here in the top corner. You should watch it when you're done watching this video. But uh, my buddy and I decided to throw together sort of a cruise. Uh, usually if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that pretty much every weekend I'm doing some cruise to some area outside of Phoenix. Today we're going to be going to Bartlett Lake, so we're going to meet in Tempe here shortly. I gotta drive over there. We're gonna hang out for a bit, wait for everyone to show up, and we're gonna drive up to Bartlett Lake, which is about 55 minutes to an hour away, get some great views, hang out some more and talk, and I'll bring you guys along for the ride. I'm gonna be taking the Turbo X. I've got my backpack down in here. I've got some uh, some GoPros and just a whole bunch of a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna try and get some cool angles and do what I can to, to uh, film while I'm driving. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead, head over to Tempe. Twenty minutes later. Still waiting on another car or two, but we've got good crowd going so far. I'll go ahead and walk over each car briefly, kind of talk about it. But we got a couple Vigans, we got a 9.5, got another OG 9.3, and then some NG 9.3s, and we've got a 9000 Arrow on the way. And then we should be meeting up with another 9.5 and possibly a 900 too. So, should be a lot of fun. Solid turnout, like I'm pretty happy with this. We got 10 cars so far if you count the awesome Suzuki. Beautiful black 9.5. I wrote, these are like, these will always be some of my favorite Saab wheels. There's something about them, they look really good. I think they're 9.3 wheels but they fit the 9.5 really well too, as most 9.3 wheels and 9.5 wheels look good interchangeably. Speaking of that, got a NG 9.3 with some double Ys, always a good choice on these cars. And we've got a Vigan with a built motor, if I can talk. He's currently switching out his injectors uh, because he's having a, a vacuum issue. So he's going back to the stock injectors. This car is uh, this car is pretty cool. We got a Vigan came out all the way from Colorado. This is a really clean car. You can't go wrong with the BBSs on these. Super clean. And look the interior, the black Vigan spoiler on there too. Black badges looks really really subtle and aggressive. Turbo X, you know, same as always. We got a 9.3 Aero convertible here, V6, can't go wrong with that, fusion blue with the dark blue top, really, really nice combination, really clean car as well. Got another NG9.3 right here too. This one has cloth seats on it, believe it or not, and some really, really sharp looking wheels. This is an 03, it's a linear, but it has all the arc, or I guess the arrow upgrades. It's got like arrow side skirt, slip, uh, lower lip down here, upgraded turbo injectors, all that. Five speed manual too, really cool. We have Lucas's 9993. This car is, I love this car. It sounds really good too, as you guys will hear. He's got the BBSs on there as well. Five speed manual. I'm sure at some point I'll do a uh, full video on this car, but he also just had the hood and bumper repainted so the car is looking really really good love this color too and for now last but certainly not least have a uh, ng93 convertible just got some new wheels on it yesterday similar to the uh, 95 just some of the best sob wheels that you can get out there really really good I always wanted these for my uh, 2.0 and then I ended up getting different wheels so I couldn't find these which are the wheels that are on it now uh, yep, this car is this car is looking really, really sharp. All of them are. So uh, we're waiting on one more car here. Vintage Saab lovers will be pleased to know there are two vintage pre-GM Saabs here for you purists. <laughs> Nine thousand arrow. So he's got the wrong coolant in here. Make sure you uh, complain about that in the comments. I just want somebody to say something about it and be angry. So okay. Okay. Good to know. Anything else that the people should know to complain about? To complain about? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Everything else is proper on it. 
All right. Just, that's a shitty crimp on there, but that's it. There you go. Complain about that too. Yeah, Please, someone. About that. 9,000 arrow seats, five speed manual. That gorgeous car. And then for here, 900 SPG. Oh, yeah. I've seen this car at some cars and coffees before, but this is just absolutely gorgeous. 12 out of 10 right here. I mean, it just looks so good in the red. Super aero wheels. Of course, five speed manual. Seats are in really nice shape. These wheels, so good. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. update here I think we've got eight of the 12 cars with us we lost a couple of people it's just so hard to coordinate so many people driving the same place at the same exact time uh, so we got I think eight cars I counted when we get up to the exciting part up here in a few minutes I have a couple GoPros I mounted them before we left and they both fell off so I'll try to mount them again if they fall they fall but hopefully I can get some good good clips for you guys Ooh, Aston Martin hold up nice so everyone is caught back up got a uh, couple GoPros set up here so we're gonna hit the road enjoy these beautiful roads and views this road has a lot of high turns on it and thankfully we have not hit any slow drivers yet but we literally just started and the views are about to get a whole lot better a lot of traffic on these roads on a Saturday afternoon wow videos right here with the soft beats and just hanging out with soft friends going on cruises even if it's just a meet and cruise like these are my favorite videos hands down give them some space this is a fun little section <laughs> Yeah, 
Bartlett Lake. Absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous, gorgeous views. Not the biggest lake we've got here by any means, but it runs pretty far to the right there. Still really, really great views out here altogether. So we made it up here. Uh, I just watched back some of the clips I had of the windows being down when I was talking, and this new microphone is clearly terrible with uh, windows down driving. So uh, I thought this wind muff would be fine, but clearly it wasn't good enough. So I apologize in advance. I'll probably find a way to put music over all that. Lesson learned, but all the cars are up here, all 12 of them. So we're just hanging out. We uh, Lucas's car had a Tech 2 or I did some tech 2 work on his car. He had an ABS light and a different light uh, that he got after he towed the car down when he bought it in Utah. So I cleared that code off and uh, yeah, it seems like it's codes didn't come back after starting it a couple times, so hopefully it's gone. But yeah, we're just uh, all hanging out, talking sobs. Might do a little bit of work on the uh, 9000 right there. And then we'll might go grab a bite to eat, but some views here are just fantastic. All of them made it with no issues. 9.5, Turbo X, 9000, 900 SPG, OG93, Vigan, NG93 behind that, other Vigan, 9.3 convertible. So there you have it guys. That is some footage from our Saab Cruise 2020. Uh, the footage itself probably would have turned out a lot better if one, I had a better mic, so I apologize for that. I thought that this would uh, be good enough for what I needed it to do and it wasn't so that sucks but lesson learned nonetheless also probably would have helped to have a passenger filming with me but you know it happens so I got what I could uh, hopefully the GoPros provided some good enough footage for you guys that you all enjoyed but that was a lot of fun uh, I they're just just meeting up with saw people and doing stuff like that is like one of the most enjoyable things that I that I love to not only film and like edit but also just do as like an activity so Thank you to everyone that came out and uh, I hope you all enjoyed. I tried to work in some music to those clips that just had absolutely horrible audio so hopefully uh, you guys are happy with the final result. Um, but with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one.